Hey y'all, today we're gonna to get into some serious meat in solving equations, so pay attention. I'll give you some good examples. If you're having a little bit of trouble, go back and watch the video again, and it'll start burning its way into your brain like a, oh, I don't know, like a parasite or something. Okay, anyway. First off, reciprocal. Do you know what a reciprocal is? Well, let me tell you if you don't. A, let's say you have the, the fraction 3 eighths. A reciprocal is a number that you can multiply by another number and the product is one. And this is a very handy uh, skill to know when you're doing algebra, okay? I think probably we all know that the answer is eight thirds, right? You can take a fraction and you just flip it and you multiply it by itself, I mean, excuse me, the reciprocal and you get one. In other words, if like, let's say you have one half, the reciprocal, in other words, one half times what gives you one? Two, right? In other words, as a fraction, that's two over one, okay? How about, you don't know, I don't know, let's say 81 seventeenths. You'd multiply it by 17 over 81, right? Okay. That gives you one. Okay, let's say somebody gave you seven. What's the reciprocal of seven? Okay, if you'd had seven as a fraction, seven over one, you'd know the reciprocal, right? It's one seven. Okay, same thing. All right. And we'll look at, let's look at how this is helpful in uh, algebra. A coefficient, co means like along with, right? Co-president, um, co-sponsor, and so on, all right? A coefficient is something like this. If you have three X is equal to, um, you know, let's say six or something. This is the variable. This is the coefficient, the num numeral that goes along with the variable. All right, we'll see tons of these, okay? Our rule, you need to make sure you write this down and or ex ex know exactly what it means. Okay, this is the multiplication rule for equations before you read it. Remember last time we had this rule that said if you added a certain number to one side of an equation, you have to do exactly the same thing to the other side of the equation or subtract or whatever? This is the same thing. If you do something to one side of an equation in algebra, you must do exactly the same thing to the other side. Okay, so here it is. Both sides of an equation can be multiplied by the same number without changing the solution to the equation. Let me just uh, go ahead and pause and copy that down, then, then come with me. All right. Okay, in other words, let's, let's say you have, um, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, this is uh, 5 uh, plus 2 equals 7. Right? Is that a true equation? Yes, it is. Okay. So both sides can be multiplied by the same number. So let's say I just multiplied this by 10. I'm going to multiply everything over here by 10, right? And then I multiply this by 10. Okay. Well, that's 50, right? Plus 20 equals 10 times 7, 70. That works. As long as you do the same thing to everything on an equation, you got it. You're fine. There you go. We're going to use that rule in just a second here. Okay. All right. What is a reciprocal again? What's a reciprocal of three sevenths? Seven thirds. What's a reciprocal of five? One fifth, right? Because five is over one, one fifth. Okay, now make sure you know that. Okay, now we're gonna use this rule. Okay, so we can take this and we can multiply. Now see, look, look at this right now. You have at four times some number equals 12. I'm sure you know what the number is. It's really easy, but we're, we're, we're doing a method that we're learning a method. Okay, if you look at this and go, okay, I'm gonna look to this as being over a fraction. We, do, we don't want four X's of anything. We want the X by itself, nothing there. We want a positive one X. To get this X to where it's just a one X, we're gonna have to multiply this right here. Remember, this is called the coefficient. We're going to have to multiply this by its reciprocal, right? So we look at this and go, okay, 4 over 1, we just multiply by 1 over 4. Doink, like that. And since this is the multiplication rule, it's an equation, we do the same thing to this side, right? And if you want to put this over 1, you can. And of course, this goes away because a reciprocal, you know, multiplied by its own reciprocal gives you 1. All right, and 12 times 1, in other words, on the left side, we have x here. Over here, we have 12 times 1 on the top, and we have 1 times 4 on the bottom. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3, and we've just solved it. You probably knew the answer was 3 anyway, but you have to know a method. This will get you through all kinds of stuff. 
All right, let's try another one. All right, this looks kind of funky. Look at that. Two thirds y equals one fifth. Go ahead and copy that down. Now, I guarantee you, ninety-five percent of people, or almost half, are not going to be able to solve this thing in their heads. Right? You're going to have to multiply both sides. You don't want no two thirds y. We want one y. You want to be able to say, I solved it. Y is equal to this. Not I solved it. Eight tenths of a y. Is, no. You want y. That's what you want. So to get this two thirds and turn it into a one y or just y, we're going to have to use the reciprocal rule. You multiply by three halves. Boom. Do it to the left side. That means you do it to the right side. This just goes away, right? It's just y now. The y is equal to, remember how you just go straight across, 1 times 3 is 3, 5 times 2 is 10. There is your answer. You have just solved this equation. Looks kind of funky and kind of hard. You just go, not thinking about it. I'm multiplying by the reciprocal to clean up the 2 thirds and get it out of there. I'm making it 1. Well, I did this to this side. I got to do the other side. So whatever, y, y equals 3 tenths. There you go. Okay, let's try another one. m divided by 3 is equal to 6. Okay, now let me, let, me, let me give you a clue on this one. If you don't see a number in front of this uh, variable, you can put 1 as a coefficient. If that bothers you just seeing that by itself and it doesn't look like these with fractions in front of it, then you make it have a fraction in front of it. You make this the new fraction in front of it, right? You're multiplying the top by 1 and then you're putting 3 on the bottom. So write it like this from now on. One third m equals six. Do it just like that. Anytime you see an equation like that, just go ahead. If you like it that way, make it that way. But we all know what the reciprocal of one third is, right? What is it? Three over one. Three over one, and you can just multiply. If you want to put it over one, you can. Times three over one, that goes away. M is all you have left. That's what you want. M is equal to six times three. There we go. Boop. Finished. All right, division rule. Good news, look at this. Okay, division rule is the same as the multiplication rule. You can divide both sides of an algebraic equation by the same number and it won't change it at all. So you can pause it if you want and write that down. Basically, to summarize this, if you multiply the left side by, of the equation by something, you better do it to the right side. If you multiply, if you divide by one side, you have to do it to the other side as well. Whatever you do to one side of an equation, you do exactly the same thing to the other side. And the whole reason you do stuff to equations is not to like, so it's fun, you know? If you, you know, you, there are more ways to have fun than, you know, piddle around dividing numbers. The reason is, is you're trying to get that letter to where it's just one. You don't want fractions from in front of it. You don't want numbers all around it. You, want, you don't want anything, you just want a one. That's why you're doing it. So let's look at a couple of these. Oh, first off, 20 divided by four, what's the answer? Five, right? What is 20 times one fourth? In case you have to look at it, 20 times one fourth is like this, right? Oh, look at there. That's gonna be 20, oh, divide, oh the answer is five. So the point is, 20 divided by 4 is the same thing as 20 times 1 fourth, right? Dividing by a, this is the same thing as, remember how you divide a fraction, you flip it and you multiply? That's all you're doing here. You can choose either one you want to when you solve equations. I'll show you. All right, first off, let's do it this way. If you go, okay, 4x four, four equals 3. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. I'm going to go ahead and put a 1 underneath this. Let's see, the reciprocal of 4 over 1 is 1 over 4. Okay, I multiplied by 1 over 4 on the left side, so now I have to turn around and multiply by 1 over 4 on the right side. And of course, these go away, and then x is all I have left. That equals 3 times 1 is on top, 1 times 4 is on bottom. I got it. 3 fourths got my answer. Okay, you can do that. All right? Or if you don't like that way, you can do this. Feel free. You can look at the equation. Let me just write it again. 4x equals 3. Now, if we multiply by 1 fourth, that's the same thing as dividing by 4, right? Anytime you want, 
When you have an equation that has a coefficient that is an integer, like 4 or 12 or negative 53 or something like that, you can divide instead of multiplying by the reciprocal. You do it how you want. Okay. Sometimes it works out better to do it a certain way, and we'll go to that in a few minutes here. This time, you can just divide by 4 if you want, right? Because 4 divided by 4 is 1, right? So gone. But don't forget, this is an equation. You don't just do something to one side. You do exactly the same thing to the other side. x is equal to 3 divided by 4. Same, just like there. So either way, you feel free to do that. Okay. So let's solve by dividing this. Ugh. What a mess. Look at that thing. N times 0 0.04 equals 20. Ugh. Okay. Well, I, you know, I mean, you know, in other words, you've got something right here times your variable. In other words, you could write it like this if you wanted to. 0 0.04 N equals 28. Now, a minute ago, we just did like this. We went 4X equals 3. And we went, okay, we can just divide by 4, and that cancels that. And, oh, same thing to the right side. So x is equal to 3 fourths. So I got it. I'm done. Okay. Well, you can do the same thing here. If something works in algebra, do it again. Doesn't matter if there's decimals or fractions. Do it again. Same thing. All right? So what would you divide this and that side by? 0 0.04, right? And the nice thing is you don't need to do any arithmetic over here at all. Anything divided by itself is 1. Gone. Done. Okay? Divide this by 0 0.04. And you've, you've done these before, right? You did this years ago in math. You know, you just go like this. You whoop twice over and then whoop twice over. 4 into 2800 now. That's going to be 7 and then two zeros. Boop. There we go. The principle is if you divide something up, you know, on, one, on one side of the equation, you do exactly the same thing to the other side. Okay. Look on page 135. And uh, we have, let's see, how many problems do we have? Only 15. No, we have four. Okay. We have four problems. We'll do all four of those. You can do one at a time if you'd like to. Either way you want, pause it and go ahead and try A. Okay. A, to clean this up, the, probably the easiest thing to do, if you have a fraction, probably the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal, right? 11 fifths. Over here, you can put it over 1 if you want to, 11 fifths, okay? That always goes away. That gives you 1. That's what you want. You want 1x. I solved it. x equals, you know, there you go. Okay, 7 times 11, 77 over 5. You can actually leave it like that if you want to. In the back of your book, it might give you an answer that's a mixed number. If so, just, you know, do the division and so on. Make sure yours matches. Okay, pause it and try B, but look how B is different from A. Look at the coefficient. The coefficient is 3. On A, the coefficient was a fraction. How are you going to handle this differently? Or are you? Go ahead. Pause it and do it. Okay. Well, you know, you could look at this and go, okay, I'm going to treat this as 3 over 1. And I'm going to multiply by 1 over 3 as the reciprocal. And then multiply this, 15 over 1 times 1 over 3. You can do that if you want to. Since this is an integer, it's probably a lot easier just to go, okay, I'm going to divide by 3. Because 3 divided by 3 is 1. That's how many x's I want. That's how I want to get the 1, right? So do the same thing to the right side. Doink. x is equal to 15 divided by 3, which is 5. There you go. Okay. Pause it and try C. Don't forget how to rewrite C, right? Remember how you can rewrite that to make it look a little better with a fraction? Go ahead and do that. Okay. C, if you rewrite this, you know, there's actually one X sitting there. So you can look at it like this if you want, like that, and kind of go, okay, one third X equals five. Since this is a fraction, it might be easier just to multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal, of course, is just three over one. And you can just do this in your head. What's five times three over one? Fifteen. Boom. There you go. You can check it, by the way. If you say the answer is 15, just stick it back in here. Is 15 divided by 3, 5? Yeah, there you go. Okay, pause it and try D. Okay, well, if I were you, I mean, you know, you could, we'll just do it both ways, okay? So you could also go, okay, I'm going to just divide this by 4, okay? Then I'm going to say, oh, I'll just divide this by 4 as well. Okay. That goes away. That just gives us X. Now you have this as your problem. One-third 
divided by four. Now, how do you handle that? A third divided by four. Remember, anything is a fraction if it's over one, right? So put it over one. So a third divided by four is the same thing as one third times what? One over four, right? The reciprocal. So one times one is one, and bam, there's your answer. Boom. Okay, if you don't like doing it that way, you tried the other way, fine, whatever. You can just multiply this. You can look at this as a four over one. And you go, okay, I'm gonna multiply this by the reciprocal. That's one fourth. I multiply by reciprocal. Oh, I threw it to the right side as well. Okay, multiply by one fourth. There we go, that goes away. I just have my x now. Let's see, x equals one third times one fourth. One times one is one. Three times four is 12. Got it, okay, same thing, okay. All right, give those a whirl today, see how you do. And if you don't get them 100% right, don't worry about it. Sometimes it takes days or even weeks for this stuff to kind of like kick in and click, okay? So, uh, you know, if you need any help, I'm welcome. If you want to contact me, that's fine. Uh, feel free to go to my website and, uh, you know, I'll be glad to talk to you about it. So anyway, see you next time. Y'all take care.